welcome to the Private Property Farming Podcast. My name is Mbari Nwoko and this is another edition of the gardening series with home growers. Today we have another exciting episode where we're going to be discussing the potato growing bag and we're going to be planting our very own potatoes today with me, Cass from Home Growers. But before we get on to the show, I just want to mention a special announcement that we have our winner with the gardening barrel here, um, which will be fully kitted. And our winner is none other than Palesa Silane. And she mentioned that she'll be growing her own spinach as well as strawberries in this grow barrel. Congratulations, Palesa. This grow barrel will be shortly on your way. So let's get on in today's show. Cass, thank you so much once again for another exciting episode. So what is it that we're doing today? Well, it's always an absolute pleasure having you join us at Home Growers. Yeah. Now, this is probably one of my finest and okay. one of my most enjoyable products that we've ever manufactured and put into market. Yeah. It is none other than the potato grow bag. Awesome. We've got them in two colors. We've got them in that bottle green and we've got this in the beautiful beige. Mm -hmm. Again, what is very important, these, these bags are manufactured in South Africa for South African conditions. It's got the hydration holes underneath so that water seeps through so you don't get any rot. Because rotting potatoes, any of you that have tried growing potatoes and you smell that, yeah. it's something that you don't want to experience. It's quite a pungent it's smell. very pungent. <laughs> so these are being very specifically designed, okay. very well stitched. We've got Velcro flap doors in the front, which you see in the front of the, the, the table over there. Okay. And that is an easy access point. So once the potato is grown and you want to harvest smaller potatoes, you can do that whilst it's still growing. You okay. can actually open it and you can harvest some potatoes. Right. So that's what a lot of people do. What I prefer to do is I allow the plant to grow right to its full. And then from that side, I harvest the entire plant right. and then get all my potatoes. But today, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to grow potatoes. I'm and excited. I promise you, it is so, so simple. People don't realize how simple it is. And this is what's magnificent about anything that we do at Home Growers. We show you how to get growing with ease. Mm. You can grow a variety of different products. The potatoes is where the magic sits because yeah. it is easy and you just got to have a little bit of patience. And once you have that and you watch it happening, mm. you'll see the potato grow. But let's start. So before, before we get into the actual uh, growing, I just want to find out, this is a potato grow bag. Is there anything else that we could grow into this bag? Like carrots, for example, so any carrots and beetroot, basically any crops that grow underneath the soil? That's right. Or is it specifically for potatoes? So the truth is you could grow anything in this. Just the fact that we've engineered it specifically for potatoes. Mm. We've got the front uh, harvesting panel and that is specifically for your potatoes. Mm. Uh, your carrots and that you're going to pull out on the top. Now if you wanted to, if you decided to you wanted to grow carrots or beetroot or onions or any other type of vegetable, you can do that. Mm. Only difference is, is that this has been engineered specifically for uh, potatoes. potatoes that you could harvest them through the hatch. That is it. But there's nothing stopping you from growing anything. There's strawberries in here if you wanted to. Yeah. But this is the potato grow bag and awesome. because of that we can stick to potatoes. And what I've done is I have five of them and I have them growing in series. So as I've harvested the one, I put it behind the queue and then I start, uh, start that again. And the next one pops out, harvest that one, put it in the queue and then you end up getting them a staggered growth approach. Yeah. So you always have potatoes. The trick with potatoes though is that because it's, there's, a, there's a little bit of an art to growing potatoes is if you have a very, let's say, small harvest on your first attempt, don't give up. Mm. Don't give up. Because and we'll show you now how it goes, we go about it. But okay. as the plant grows, you've got to fill it with soil. And fill it with soil. You've got to chase that growth with soil. I see. If you don't, then your harvest or your produce is going to be less right but let's go through it let's understand so it. what we have here on the table is definitely some potatoes some grow bags and some compost as well as our spray bottle so what's the first step because i also see that these potatoes have a slight root on it so maybe if you could just take us through uh, the first step of uh, planting our potatoes okay firstly so i'm glad you mentioned that because i took these out just to show so here we have potatoes that are already showing some significant growth on them already. Yeah. These don't have any growth. Yeah. Now the difference is, these have been left in a bag 
in a dark place and they've landed up sprouting. So you've got beautiful, beautiful, healthy ah, shoots. Ah. Now what happens, and I've seen it in some households, as soon as someone sees it, they go, oh, this is not gonna be good, and they throw it away. It's yes. the worst thing you can do, because this is magic. You want this, this is absolutely spectacular, because you can take this and you can start the journey immediately. Now there's two ways of doing it, and I'm gonna show you now. You can either take the whole potato, the whole spud, and you can pop it into soil, and then cover it, and then keep it moist. The trick here is to always keep it moist, moist. never over flood it because you're going to encourage rot, which is not what you want. So you keep it moist and then what you will find is that over a couple of weeks, it takes a few weeks, they're going to start shooting. You see beautiful green shoots coming, beautiful little leaves. And as that starts to form, start filling the soil full, 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 full as it grows. And that will become a very, very healthy potato plant. Mm. Now the same with this here, which is also beautiful. I'm going to show you. I'm going to just put those down quickly. And I'm going to take the, um, the typical kitchen potatoes, as we would refer to. Okay. Now this typically is what you would prepare for a meal. And a lot of people don't understand. They look at this and they go, okay, well that's nice. Are we going to make dinner tonight? And they'll end up peeling the potato. Okay, and they land up peeling it nicely. So those of you that have peeled potatoes for fries or <laughs> for a stew or a curry or whatever it is, know all about this. And we land up peeling these beautiful potatoes. And what happens is the skins land up in the dustbin, yes. which is very, very sad. Now what you can do is when you cut these skins, cut them a little bit deeper than normal. So you'll see okay. there's a, a fairly decent depth. All right, and then you land up using this for eating. So you peel it off as you would do, and this you would the, re the, the remaining part, which is the, the peeled potato, that is what you're going to consume and cook with. The rest is what you're going to grow. So that's going to be your edible, which is going to go into a yummy, yummy food. Yeah. And that's, I'll just put that away now because okay. we're not interested in that for the moment. And then what we do is to prepare the potato grow bag, we take the skins that I've just cut. And I always use a very simple. Um, explanation to people okay. when I try and teach them for the first time. If you look at your skin, you'll always see that you've got the wet side and you've got the eye side. Yeah. The eyes are the little dots in there, which is where the shooting and the, and the growth is going to come from. Okay. I always say eyes to the sky. So the eyes must always face and the, the sky and yeah. the wet must be into the soil. Got it. So what we do now, so we're going to take some beautiful compost, okay. we're just going to pour it into the grow bag, or our potato grow bag, and we're gonna do just, just enough to cover the base because what you wanna do is you wanna stimulate the growth of the roots. You want okay. the rooting to start to form. You're not using a lot of soil. Yes. You're just using a little bit of soil that's really going to- At the bottom. That's right. So you're not putting a fortune in, just that you've got a significant amount that's gonna allow the potato to actually find its position in the soil. Now we've got about that much soil in, it's not a lot. Okay. So remember, eyes to the sky. So we land up popping them in like that all right so we just position them and you can put as many as you like it doesn't make a difference because some will take and some won't take okay so as we've got all these skins in the soil now mm -hmm. never worry about how many you put in because remember some aren't going to take okay and as we said and i'm going to just state it again that we just remember it's always eyes to the sky and the wet into the soil <laughs> so now we've got it so now that it's in there we're going to take more soil okay and we're going to dust it we're just going to dust it just gently, that's it, just to cover, you just want to cover it that they're not exposed. Because what you want to prevent is you don't want the skins to dry out. That's the last thing you want to do, you don't want them to dry out. Okay, so that's that. Now we're going to spray it. Okay. Because remember we never over uh, spray, we just keep it moist. Mm. And I love the it. smell. It's incredible. Yeah. So that is it. That's all we need to do in terms of prepping your potato grow bag. That is it. Now you leave okay. it. Every day just check that it's moist and carry on spraying every day. If it's wet, then it's fine. Leave it outdoors, full sun, not a problem. Don't worry about the elements. Don't worry about rain. Don't worry mm. about anything. Just as long as it is not soaked. If it rains and it fills up, it's not a stress because it's going to drain out. Yes. You just don't want to have it every single day waterlogged. Absolutely. That's what you don't want. So do we always keep the, the compost at a very low level? Yes. Or, you know, would it have to fill it up? So what you'll do is as it starts to grow and you start getting decent growth coming out of the uh, potato skin itself, you will see it. 
It's a very strong green, and you'll see it piercing through the soil. As it pierces through the soil, just carry on topping up with uh, soil. So it will grow, top up a soil, grow, top up a soil, grow, I see. and it'll get to the top here, and you'll have a beautiful bush which will ultimately flower. Yeah. And you can either wait for for post flowering to harvest, or you can harvest. Uh, at the flowering stage, so you can okay. decide. Just going to get different sized potatoes. Yeah, and throughout the growing process, do you have to put any fertilizers, whether it's organic fertilizers, just to maybe speed up the growth, some foliar feed, um, just to make sure that at the end of the day you have round looking potatoes? Yeah, you don't have to worry about any of that. Okay. You can just carry on, as long as you're using a good soil and a good composting, you might be in an area where the soil quality is very, very poor, then supplement it with some of your own home grown mm. natural uh, composting that you can create at home. So it's a very, very simple process to follow. It really mm. is. It's, potatoes are probably one of the easiest things to grow. Yeah. The mere fact that you can actually grow it from skins is insane. And how long does the process take? So we've just planted right now in our skins. Um, and how long would it be fully ready to be an edible potato? You give it about 67 days there and thereabouts. Okay. Um, but uh, it, it varies. It varies from sun conditions to temperature to rain, mm. how much moisture you've given it in terms of hydration. You know, so it really does depend. But 67 days there and thereabouts is actually probably the, the right amount of time. Got and it. it's a lovely, lovely activity for everyone in the family to get involved. Yeah. Because you know, it's something you just can't wait to see the end result. <laughs> yes. you, know, you see this thing growing, and the mere fact is that you, you say to yourself, I cannot believe that we actually have potatoes growing from skins. You know, when you tell people and you say, you know what, you can get potatoes from skins, I think you've lost your mind. They <laughs> say, so, yeah, how can you grow? It's like taking yeah. an archie and putting an archie skin in, in soil. And then you have an archie tree. It doesn't yeah. work like that. So why would a potato? It just does. So you've got to trust it and it works. Yes. So that's from the skin. Now I'm going to show you from okay. the potatoes that we had from the dark bag that were stuck in a cupboard somewhere and then you get this magnificent the growth. Yeah. So I'm going to show you what you do because a lot of people just take the potato and they plonk it in soil, water it and hope for the best. And okay. it actually works very, very well. But we're going to show you something else. So I'm going to take this one and put this one aside for now. Okay. Are we using the green now bag now? we're going to prepare the green bag. So again, just so that we can remind and look, You'll see inside there, yes. you've got all those got holes, the beautiful holes. drainage holes, and that allows the water to seep through. You've got, again, you've got the, the, mm. the perforated uh, um, uh, harvesting hatch to open to, to get your potatoes. So you have that, just like the previous bag. Extra stitching around there, handles on the side so you can move mm. it around should you want to. Mm. It's really a well-constructed device or product rather. Okay. So now what we're going to do, exactly as we had done before in the previous one of the skins, we're going to take soil and we're going to pop it in just to again cover the base that the potato has got something to nestle into. And you know the nice thing about it as well is that once you've harvested your potatoes, I reuse the soil. And you'll be surprised how yes. many worms you start seeing as well, which is beautiful. Because that's you create what, your own uh, yeah. biological ecosystem in there. Absolutely. I, I empty the whole bag out. And then what I do is I let it aerate for a day or two or three. And then start the journey again. And okay. you can't believe it. Because there's so many microorganisms that exist in that soil. Mm. So now if we take oh, this particular one. I saw a nice one right by you a few seconds ago. So I want to try, because there's one there. This is a lovely one as well. Just to, okay. I want to show you different examples of what can be done. Because a lot of people, what happens is they get these potatoes and they go, oh, I'm not eating that, and they mm. throw it away. So now what we're going to do is you've got different elements of what you can do in terms of your harvesting of the skins. So we're going to chop this one in half. Well, actually, not really half, more of a, a third. Okay. And we're going to take that piece and we're going to plonk that into the soil okay then you've got two still the dry here. side at the That's facing right. the top eyes to the sky or in this case we've got the shoots to the sky okay and you've got pieces all over so what we're going to do is we're going to try and maximize our ability to get the most out of this particular potato so this one i'm trying to find where the eyes are so you've got an eye there we're going to just pop that there here you got a beautiful one we're going to mm. pop that there and then what we will do is for for sake of reference we're going to take these, these these bags and we will remember that the beige one were the, was the skins and the green one was from the spuds. Right. And then we'll have a competition and maybe your viewers will have a vote to see which is going to win the race. Is it ah. going to be the green or is it going to be the beige? Just, so that'll yeah. be quite an interesting to one. Green or, green or beige? That's actually quite a great concept. So we yeah. got green or beige. So we'll see. That'll be an interesting one to see 
So this is a nice one. As you can see, this one is in a very bad state. And most people, again, would just throw it away. Yeah, or what? just cut off that part and throw it away. What a waste. What a waste. And you can see you've got beautiful growth coming out there. Okay. Okay, so now we cover with soil. Okay, so the same way, not same too much way. soil. We, we just dust it, you cover it. Now you're going to put a little bit more on this one because the spuds are bigger than, right, bigger than right. the, the actual skins. So we do this. As you can see, we're just dusting it. Just to cover that you don't see any potatoes. And then we do the spray again. So we pump this up. So we've got a pump action going on here. Yeah. And then... I like how this entire system seems so convenient, you yes. know. Um, it doesn't make a lot of mess. Um, everything is compact and you can just do it right on top of a table, pick up this bag and go put you it by the it. patio. That's it. You know? No mess, absolutely no fuss. Yeah. It's a simple system to work with. You know, it's a system that's going to last you for years. It's well constructed. It's UV protected. Yes. It's double stitched. It's got everything you need. Right. Awesome. And then we've sprayed. Now we're ready to leave it outside. And, then you read. It. and wow. in 67 days, we're going to have potatoes. This is fantastic. So we're going to be making some decent fries. We're going to fry <laughs> some potatoes. Or we're going to make a stew. Or we're going to do something with these potatoes. And yeah. let me tell you, the best potatoes you've ever eaten. Yeah. The best potatoes are the ones that you form. Are the Absolutely. Best. So you reckon, use your own potatoes, uh, especially the ones that you were going to throw out to just replant again instead of maybe coming onto home growers and then buying seedlings or seeds you don't, you know? have, to, you don't have, exactly. to have any you know, a lot of people go out and they look and they and you read on the net and you find ah oh, i'm looking for seed potatoes seed potatoes seed mm. potatoes and so seed potatoes are great don't get you me wrong they are them brilliant in your kitchen but in your kitchen yeah. yeah and just because they don't have eyes on them you know that's the other pe thing people look at them and they go like if i take this one here it doesn't look like there are any eyes there but those little black dots on there those are eyes waiting to form mm. so you know that's what you want yeah and for me the big thing is that you've got something and you can consume the whole potato and you can still use the skins so you're getting a double benefit from it i mean it is absolutely insane what other vegetable or food do you get that you yeah. can actually consume it enjoy it and then just the byproduct of the skinning of it allows you to grow more vegetables. Yeah, today. yeah. And so when can one start planting these? I mean, right now we're uh, approaching summer. So what would be your um, preferred time to start planting these in your own garden? So the nice thing about South Africa, again, our conditions are so, so superb. Yeah, I, I've grown my potatoes throughout the year. Oh, wow. 365 days a year. The difference is that different times of the year, the temperature does slow things down. Absolutely. So your 67 days might become 90 days. And if we work it out, 90 days is what, three months? Yes. So you've gone, and that's why it's so special about the African climate, is that you've literally, there's, there's three months, you've gone from winter into summer. Mm. So you've actually, you haven't actually done any harm. You've just got stuff <laughs> happening. And you want to put them in an area where you are protected a little bit from like dire, dire drops in temperatures. Okay. So you put it somewhere with a little bit of a canopy or a bit of coverage or a bit of something just to protect from frost and ice, ice, ice cold weather. Mm. But if you look in Europe where potatoes are growing as well, I mean, their climates are harsh, mm. incredibly harsh. Mm. And you've got some of the best potatoes in the world coming from there. So it doesn't really make a difference. I've grown throughout the year. There's no doubt I get the best growth in summer, provided you hydrate, keep these little babies moist and keep them watered and keep topping them up. The trick and the challenge here is to watch your potato grow and fill it as it grows. You have to have to fill it as it grows. Right. If you don't do that, it will affect the output, the quantity, of mm. what you will get in terms of potatoes right. so some people say oh i tried this and that i only got three potatoes what a waste well maybe you didn't fill it up as it was growing mm. and by that stage the plant had already fundamentally formed itself and it hadn't shot out new root systems to create the, those, the tubes and that's what happens and then you have a beautiful bush but you've got very few potatoes underneath so those are the kind of things that you do get or you over over water you get root rot and then you get rotting potatoes so, but you'll learn. So what yeah. happens, and most people we talk to, they start the journey and then they just carry on all, all over and over again because their first time, their first attempt was a lesson. They yes. learned. And they yes. say like, ah, I know what I did wrong the last time. And that's really what it is. Right. So just to sum up the growing bags, um, just give us a quick checklist to say, you need your pump, you need the grow bag, and uh, you can either want to plant and skin or plant in the studs, just maybe just give us that quick checklist once again Perfect. so that we know um, what to do once we've purchased these and um, once we're ready to start planting our own uh, potatoes at home. Perfect. So let's uh, break it down and say, okay, so 
Let's have a checklist. Okay. What is the checklist to grow a potato? Well, very okay. simple. This you get a you get a grow bag. Yeah. Tick. We've got One. the grow bag. We've got soil. Tick. We've got the soil. Compost. Either skins or potatoes. Tick. You've From the those. potatoes Correct. in your house. Yeah. So if you don't have potatoes that are already shooting, not a big story. Okay. Not an issue at all. Just use your skins. So right. as you're preparing your meal, like I showed you earlier, skin the potato. Make it a little bit. Don't cut it right. If you take a potato, a, a peeler, it won't it, work. It peels right. so close to the, the potato itself. Yeah. You're not going to have success there. And the reason being is, by the time that per potato skin starts to germinate and to shoot its its, its plant. Um, it uses so much of its own internal energy from the, 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 the wet part of the potato, the moisture, all the nutrients in it, to sustain itself for growth. Mm -hmm. If it's too thin, there's not enough nutrients in there to kickstart it. So you have to have to have a bit of flesh on there. Okay. So that's the trick. Just make sure you slice it a little bit thicker than you would on a typical um, uh, skinning of a potato. Yeah, yes. Put your soil in the bag. Okay. Put the potato skins in, remember, eye to the sky and yes. then moist into the soil. Yeah. And then dust it with soil. Then you after you put them into position. When you say when I say dust it, just put enough soil in there that it covers mm. them. It mm. mustn't be drowning with that much Not soil. Not too thick, yeah. And that's it. And then take your sprayer. Or if you haven't got a sprayer, just take water, just mm. gently. Because the reason why we prefer a sprayer, when you water, it doesn't flush the water away. It evens it out Correct. throughout the bag. So that's why yeah. we prefer a sprayer. Okay. Um, but you can take a, you can take water. You can even take water in your hand and just you know sprinkle it around. You can do that. Mm. So there's there's nothing preventing you from doing that. Mm. And then just carry on that process till you watch the shoots coming through and growing. And then lo and behold, over 67 days, you can have a beautiful bush with flowers on it and um, your potatoes will be ready to harvest. Right, and then in the harvesting, we open up the, f the, the front flap and then we could just start pulling out right. the potatoes. So that's Great. one option of doing it, okay. especially if you want little baby potatoes. And some yeah. people like little baby potatoes for different type of meals that they're preparing. Absolutely. Or if you're like me, I just put a, a, a sheet out and I empty the whole uh, bag out and then I go digging for diamonds. I go hunting <laughs> for all my jewels and I find all these beautiful yeah. potatoes. And it's the most incredible thing in the world when you start seeing your potatoes coming out of the soil. Because what you find is as they come out of the soil, they're covered in like white little speckles mm. all over them. Don't be afraid. People go, oh, this doesn't look like a potato I bought at the supermarket. It looks a little bit different. Mm. Well, it will look different because it's just fresh out of the soil. Mm. And it's got a little, it's got like a very milky texture on those little dots, which is where the rooting system connects to. Mm. And that's what you're going to get. So don't be afraid of that. It's just a fresh potato. Yeah. After seconds of taking it out and actually washing it, it's, it's gone. Yeah. But when you eat that potato, it's unlike anything you've ever had. Yeah. And that is the journey that you've got to follow. Oh, wow. Cass, every time I'm here at Home Grows, <laughs> I learn something new. These are just amazing. I love the bags. I love the colors. And I like the concept behind it because you've really made it quite easy for the person to grow their own food in their own backyard. So thank you so much for the special episode and I hope we could get more people growing some potatoes. Absolutely. Thank you so much for watching at home. Remember, Balesa, uh, you are going to win your own growing barrel because you are the winner of our competition. And please share some photos of your lovely spinach as well as your strawberries that you're going to be growing. And speak to Cass, speak to the home growers staff. They'll assist you in everything you need to know about your growing barrel. And for you at home that are interested in buying these uh, potato grow bags, you could get them right here at Home Growers. And also, please, share your journey with us um, tag private property tag the private property farming podcast and definitely tag home growers as we'd like to know your process um, of growing your own potatoes throughout the journey that's it for myself as well as Cass and we'll see you at the next gardening series um, on Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. take care